Hey Planet Protectors, welcome to Paige's Planet. Today we're gonna explore coral reefs. Let's go! Sea is for creative tiny animals that grow in crazy colors and shapes beneath the sea. O is for octopus with eight arms. R for right behind us is a great big smiling shark. <gasps> A is for aquatic bustling cities. L's for life to meet beneath the waves. Coral reefs. I don't know, Pebble. I don't think the mask's gonna fit you and the fins definitely are not made for your feet. Oh, it's okay. Don't be upset. I got you, girl. I know, I know you wanna meet a sea turtle but I think you do best on land-based adventures. Oh, hey guys, welcome to base camp. I am so excited for today's adventure. We're going to be exploring coral reefs, one of my favorite ecosystems. What was that? I think we've got mail. Let's go check it out. Whoa, we did get mail. Oh man, there's a drawing on it. It's an iguana and that's an invasive species here in Florida. So it says invasive. Let's see what the other side says. Dear Paige, what is your favorite animal? Mine is a sea turtle. Have a cool adventure. Love, Sophia. Well, Sophia, I think my favorite animal would have to be a Goliath grouper. They're some of the biggest fish in the whole world. A planet protector is calling. Let's go see who it is, come on. Hello, how are you? Introduce yourself to all of the planet protectors out there. Hi Paige, my name is Riley, I'm six years old. Today, I'm going to be going on an adventure in the ocean to explore coral reefs. What's your favorite ocean animal? Turtles. Turtles, you love sea turtles? Mm -hmm. What do you think, uh, big ones or little babies? Babies that grow up to be really big. Oh, that's so cute. So in coral reefs, there are so many colors, every color of the rainbow. What's your favorite color? Green. Green? Mm -hmm. I like green too. There's a lot of green in the ocean, a lot of algae and seagrasses that are green. Green and yellow. Green and yellow, uh -huh. very cool. And you live in Florida, so you've probably gotten to go in the ocean before. What was your favorite ocean adventure that you've ever been on? Looking at the fish with my goggles, I have to snorkel. You've gone snorkeling? Uh -huh. What did you see while you were snorkeling? Fish. You saw fish? Mm -hmm. Were they colorful or were they gray? They were colorful. Wow, that had to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Were you all by yourself or were you with your mommy and daddy? My grandma. You were yes, with your grandma? We were at the beach. You were at the beach with your grandma? That's mm -hmm. so cool. Cool. Now tell me, Riley, um, if you could go on a coral reef adventure, what would you take with you? What do you think? I would take a scuba diving suit. That would be so cool. Well, Riley, I hope you wish me luck on my coral reef adventure, um, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for chatting. I can't wait to show you this adventure that we go on. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Guess what? Coral reefs are actually made of animals. Coral are made of tiny animals called polyps that have a hard limestone coating. They then grow off of other rocks and create these beautiful coral structures. How amazing! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Come on, let's see what animals we can meet! Wow! Look at this massive coral reef and 
right away I run into one of my best friends, a green sea turtle. Green sea turtles can live up to 80 years and they spend their whole life exploring the oceans, roaming free. Oh, what a wonderful life and what a beautiful animal. Green sea turtles are an endangered species. That means there aren't very many left, so they are an important species to know about and try to protect. Hello, Mr. Green Sea Turtle. Hey, do you think that maybe you could introduce me to some of your fishy friends? Oh, hello there, Mr. Squid. Wow, look at his great big eye. And how lovely he looks when he swims. Did you know squid are related to octopus and other kinds of mollusks, like even snails? See, coral reefs provide a home for every animal from long and slender to wide and flat, like the stingray. She has eyes up on top of her body, but her mouth and gills are underneath. She cruises along the ocean floor and finds animals prey, that is, that bury down in the sand. She digs them up out of the sand and then mushes them into small pieces that she can swallow down. How incredible. You see, coral reefs are essential homes for all of these creatures and for our planet, but they are in trouble. Man-made factors like pollution and climate change are harming coral reefs, killing the coral themselves. But planet protectors are fighting back. Look at where people are growing coral that they can then transplant onto reefs to help preserve these vital ecosystems. I think coral reefs are probably the most beautiful places on all of planet Earth, and I love exploring them. Have you ever gone swimming with a mask and fins? Oh, you feel like a fish. And being down there with the animals, with the fish themselves, it makes me feel like I'm part of something good. I love watching their little behaviors and imagining that maybe I am a fish too. Maybe if I could sprout gills, I could hang out with them like this beautiful angel fish one of the most beautiful fish in the ocean we got to get a closer look let's see if we can look at her face there it is do you see her beautiful eyes it looks like she has eyeshadow and lipstick on it's an incredible fish and an incredible place coral comes in all different varieties soft corals that move with the ocean currents, hard corals that grow on the rocks and look a bit like rocks themselves, that is colorful rocks. All sorts of fish, fish that live alone, fish that school together. They call these coral habitats home. And wait, what's that? Are those tentacles? <gasps> I think I see an eye. That was an octopus home. And just on the other side of that rock, there's a little fish with a tall hat on his head called a high hat. How beautiful is he? Oh, look out, Mr. High Hat. There's a moray eel. Look at that little eel. He couldn't hurt you, but he is a predator to little fish in the coral reef. If you could pick any animal in the whole coral reef to become, what would it be? Would it be an angelfish? Or I think mine would be a sea turtle. Swimming through the ocean blue with the sun on my back, it sounds really fun and really relaxing. Plus, you get to look at views like this all day. Look at that, look how many colors. The little black and yellow fish is called a rock beauty. Isn't she cute? And all these small, yellow fish are cleaner fish that would clean bigger fish or sea turtles if they've got a parasite. Oh, oh, the little striped fish in the rock. Those are called Sergeant Major Damsels, one of my favorite fish names. But we got to keep moving if we're going to see all the coral reef animals here. Whoa. Oh, a jellyfish. Don't get stung. Oh, and look at this. This is called staghorn coral. It's a different kind of coral that provides a great habitat for small fish that are are looking to hide from bigger predators like maybe our angelfish.
Coral is made up of tiny little animals called polyps. We talked about those a little bit earlier, but now that we're looking at them, it's easier to imagine. They're small and they have a hard calcified body. They grow off of the rocks or one another to create these beautiful structures. And just like they can be munched on, I think I saw that file fish take a big bite, they also eat. Some kinds of coral have stinging tentacles and they'll feed on things like plankton, tiny animals that float around in the water. Isn't it interesting how in the ocean, many things that look like plants, like this anemone, are actually animals. Anemone are another good example of an animal that could easily be mistaken for plant life. But plants do have something to do with coral. Coral have a relationship with algae. They have tiny little algaes that live inside a polyp that use photosynthesis, that use the power from the sun to help feed the coral as well. The ocean is just mind-blowingly cool and how intricate, delicate, and powerful it is. Oh, I love a coral reef. From animals that like to blend in to animals that like to stand out, it really provides a home for all kinds of sea life. The more you look at a coral reef, the more you'll notice, like this lizard fish that was camouflaged in so well. Coral reefs provide homes for animals that hide to stay safe, to ones that move out in schools in hundreds or thousands to keep safe from predators. Oh, there's a little fish that's one of my favorites. That's a parrotfish. These guys eat coral with their hard beaks, and when they use the bathroom, it's sand. What? Isn't that cool? And here is a carnivore, a predator, an eel. He is looking for his next meal. Watch him go into every single nook and cranny looking for something to eat for dinner. You better look out, little fish. Oh, whoa. There are so many little fish out there, though. Coral only takes up about 1% of the space in the ocean, but it is home to 25% of all ocean life. Coral reefs are not just important for these hundreds, these thousands of fishies. They're also important for people. Coral structures provide protection for the coastline from storms and erosion. They also provide us with medicines. We've discovered a lot of different ways to help people deep down on a coral reef. Isn't that interesting? On top of that, they provide jobs for many people and are just fascinating places to explore and be a part of these animals everyday life to be a part of something so good I personally think that exploring a coral reef is one of the coolest things you can do but I think Pebble might be missing me let's head back oh Pebble I can hear it I can hear the ocean here why don't you give a listen amazing oh pebble you have to start going to your swim lesson so next time you can take part in the coral reef adventure did you know that corals are in trouble they need our help they can easily be damaged by boat anchors dredging up the ocean floor or even just touching them so if you go on a coral reef adventure be sure to be respectful of the coral and wear reef safe sunscreen you also want to make sure to cut down on the pollutants that we put into the environment so that our coral can be alive for forever Thank you guys so much for watching and coming on this awesome adventure with me today. Like, subscribe, and share for more cool animal content like this. Bye, Planet Protectors!